Last Saturday's 56-point loss at the hands of number 9 Texas is one UTEP would just as soon forget about. Good thing for the Miners. They were back at home Saturday night to host Abilene Christian with a chance to start the year 2-1 and one for the first time since 2011 and win multiple games in a season for the first time since 2016. Unfortunately, the Miners without star running back Deion Hankins, but check this out. That is Justin Garrett wearing the number 2 with Laufenberg on the back in honor of Luke Laufenberg, the former Miners football player who died last year of cancer a very touching tribute first quarter though acu's jeremiah Dobbins in for the touchdown run to put abilene christian up seven to nothing early on but second quarter the miners offense gets going gavin hardison over the middle to the aforementioned mr garrett he makes the catch that would set up this gavin beckley from 27 yards out that one is good, gets the Miners on the board, 7-3. to three. Later in the second quarter, Wildcats quarterback Peyton Mansell going to fumble. UTEP would recover, and that would set up this very next play. Hardison looking, looking, looking down the sideline. Jacob Cowling in stride for 51 yards on the reception inside the 10. A couple of plays later, Joshua Fields, the America's trailblazer, trailblazing his way in for the score. That put UTEP up 10-7 at halftime. Third quarter, same score. Abilene Christian kicking a field goal from not too far out. So that one curls on in, would tie the game up at 10 apiece heading into the fourth quarter, but UTEP never wavered. Early fourth, Ronnie A. Watts rumbling, bumbling, stumbling into the end zone. UTEP takes the 17-10 lead. They would lead for good right there. They get the win, 17-13. They are 2-1 and one for the first time since 2011. They have a multi-win season for the first time since 2016. For more on the Miners' victory, we turn it over to KTSM 9 Sports Director Andy Morgan, live at the Sun Bowl. Yeah, Colin, this was a big win for this UTEP team. I don't care if these first two wins come against FCS opponents and Stephen F. Austin and Abilene Christian, but this was big nonetheless for this team to be able to start the season 2-1, and one, and they start the season 2-0 and oh at home for the first time since 2010 and over a decade, and they got it done when they absolutely had to have it. It was tied 10-10 at the end of that third quarter. They're able to grind it out as far as uh, the rushing yards with Ronnie Awad. As you saw, the uh, go-ahead touchdown. Joshua Fields. He also came up big in this one at the end of the game. So the Miners able to do what they had to do in order to get the win, improving to 2-1. and one. And it's huge for this team moving forward as they will now travel to Louisiana Monroe in a matchup that uh, Louisiana Monroe now 0-2 on the season. So UTEP could very well start out the season now 2-1 and one when you look at uh, what they might have had originally on their schedule with Texas Tech and Texas and Nevada. This team with a very good opportunity to improve to 3-1. and one. So a good showing here for the Miners. Gavin Hardison came up big. Jacob Cowing over 100 yards receiving. A win for the Miners. 17-13 is your final UTEP over Abilene Christian. We're live at Sun Bowl Stadium. Andy Morgan, KTSM 9 Sports.